Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest update for the Photos app in Windows 11. This is the September 2024 update and this is a bigger update for Microsoft related to the Photos app in Windows 11. This update is being rolled out to all the insider channels. So if you are in the Canary, Dev, Beta or Release Preview channels, you should get this new update. To get it, just go into the Microsoft Store, then go to Downloads and then click on Get Updates. And Microsoft Store will search for updates and update all the apps that you have an update for. So if you enjoy videos like these in which you talk about different Windows 11 apps, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. The Photos app version that you should see in order to have all these new updates is the version 2024 11080.3001. I have a newer version here, so that's no issue. But let's now talk about some new things that Microsoft will start to implement. One thing that I didn't mention is that Microsoft is also adding this new update to Windows 10. So Windows 10 and the release preview and the better channels will get this new photos app with some new additions related to windows 10 microsoft is allowing users to access and view icloud photos in windows 10 so whenever you're going to gallery you're going to see a new prompt that will allow you to add your icloud photos to microsoft photos easily using your ios phone and you're also going to need the icloud for windows app from the microsoft store to sign with your apple id and to sync your icloud photos also windows app sdk and win ui3 is coming on windows 10 as well so these are some new things related to Windows 10. You can find more info about that in the article below. Now let's talk about a few changes in this new Photos app. First of all, some changes related to the gallery view. So this section will let you access all your photo content in one place regardless of where they come from. Your PC, iCloud or OneDrive. Of course, you have multiple options here to filter them really easily. Also, you can view photos sync from your cloud providers by clicking on your OneDrive personal business or iCloud photos options. As you can see, we also have it here. So you can do that really easily. Also in the This PC section at the bottom, you'll find all the folders and content from your computer that have been added to the Photos app. To include more photos and videos in this view, you can click on the Add Folder icon next to the gallery. So you have this button right here. Now if we were to open an image, for example, double click on an image, you're going to have this new option down here which is Visual Search with Bing. If you click on this, you'll just do a Visual Search with Bing and you're going to find related content to your photo that you've just searched for. This will include similar images, related products, and other related content. Some fixes and improvements for the new Photos app. Microsoft added an option to run the Photos app in the background with minimal processes to improve the app startup speed. So for that, we're going to have to open up the Photos app and then go into the settings section. And you're going to have this option that is related to it, performance, allow Microsoft Photos to run in the background and startup to improve performance. So if you don't want it to run in the background, just disable this and Photos app should no longer eat a lot of resources in your Windows operating system. Now also another addition, if we go into the file explorer, for example, and then pictures, I can right click on a picture and we are going to have this option edit with photos and this will open up the official photos editor where we can crop, rotate, mark up the image as well as apply adjustments and AI powered edits. For example, remove the background and more. So this is the new photos app, the update of September 2024. As I've said, this should be available to all Windows Insiders in the Canary, Dev, Beta and Release Preview channels and also on Windows 10, the Release Preview channel, also the Beta channel. So if you want to get it, just go to the Microsoft store and search for update. Also, please don't forget to check out the article below for more information and also for the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zimani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.